In this video, I'm going to show you how to cure a cursed villager. So there's a few ways of actually finding a zombie villager. The first one is to usually just hang around a village. Sometimes there may have been a zombie villager that was killed by a zombie, and then they might spawn later as a zombie villager. The second step is you can also just wait for a normal spawn when you're out and about. Sometimes there is one as well because there's a 5% chance usually of spawning one when there's a group of zombies spawning as well. Now the other way is you can try and find an igloo and with those igloos there's usually a zombie villager in the basement but then the problem with that is you need to somehow get the zombie villager, well the transform villager all the way back to where you want it to go. And so then usually I like to just use the like the village route and just go from there usually. For materials what you need is a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple once you have your zombie villager. Alright guys, pretty simple stuff on how to make a golden apple. You just need eight gold blocks and one apple in the middle. Boom. Secondly, to make a fermented spider's eye, you just need one sugar, one spider eye, and one brown mushroom. And to make glass bottles is pretty easy. You just grab a few blocks of gold, uh, gold, glass. You need three blocks of glass, and then you get three glass bottles. Now, the first step to make your potion is just grab a glass bottle, go up to some water, and fill it up. Luckily, we're in a village, and so I found this cleric tower, which is really helpful, because it includes a brewing stand. From there, you add your water, once you put your water there, um, just go to a crafting table and craft your blaze rod into blaze powder. You will get the new recipes unlocked if this is the first time that you've done it. After that, add your fermented spider eye in there and it'll start to brew. Boom. Potion of weakness. Now to make it a splash potion of weakness, you just add some gunpowder on top. This works for all potions. Adding gunpowder to it makes it splash. Meaning that you can throw it instead of having to drink it. Now the bottle changes so it becomes a splash potion of weakness. Okay, so now we have one. I'm gonna put him in the boat. Hope he doesn't kill me. Ow. 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 Jump in. Now that he's down there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my potion, my golden apple. So I've thrown it, now the weakness effect is on. There you go. You hear the sound effect and the little red, the red bubbles are appearing, which means that the effect is working. He's entering cured mode, and this will just take a little while for this to happen, so... Now the good thing about this zombie villager is that it already has a job. So that means if you say wanted to have a leather worker or a blacksmith or whatever the hell it is, then when you make trades with it once it's cured, it should be cheaper than what it would be if it wasn't. Uh oh. Can you hurry up and cure? Otherwise the sun is gonna come up and kill you. There we go. You get the zombie doctor achievement and he's turned into a normal villager. I'll give him a job now, he should. There you go. Instead of 22 carrots, it will sell you 16, you will give him 16 carrots for one emerald. And that's it guys. If you enjoyed this video, smash like and subscribe for more content like this. And if you wanted to know how to breed the newly cured villager you just did, then I will leave a guide right here at the end card so you can see how to do that. Alright guys, have a good one. See you later. Bye.